Welcome to Grand Prairie Update. I'm Terry Briggs. And I'm Don Johnson. Here's what's happening in your city. Hi, come in. What can I help you with? We're just here to drop off Cats for Kids, Inc. A Grand Prairie organization is scrambling to help keep kids warm this winter. Dad, look at the new coats and how cute. Kids, Inc. is collecting new or gently used coats, scarves, hats, gloves, and socks for kindergarten through 12th grade students. We're very short on any kind of coats. We had a large family come in a couple weeks ago and we didn't have any um, coats for especially little girls. And it looks like it's gonna be a really cold winter. So whatever you would put on your children, that's what we're looking for. If you'd like to help, bring your clothing donation to City Hall during business hours. It's a busy time of year for local nonprofit groups that collect food and toys for needy families. Grand Prairie United Charities uses donations every holiday to give care packages to nearly 200 local clients. Officials say the agency could use several kinds of non-perishable food items. We can use instant potatoes and uh, box stuffing. Uh, canned vegetables, canned yams, macaroni and cheese, um, anything that you possibly might use for your own holiday dinner. To make a donation of food, toys, or cash to Grand Prairie United Charities, go online at gpuc.org or call 972-262-2014. It's the time of year when you can brighten the holidays for needy families in Grand Prairie by donating to Santa Cop, Santa Spot. The Holiday Drive is collecting new, unwrapped toys and gifts for children of all ages, especially teenagers. Non-perishable food items are also needed for care packages. And of course, cash donations are always welcome. More than 450 families and over 1,500 children are expected to benefit from the program this year. Officials say they also need volunteers to package and help with deliveries. For more information about donations or volunteering, call Santa Cop Santa Spot at 214-237-8882. You can also help out needy families by purchasing the newest city ornament. The 2014 edition is a custom-made holiday cone designed from recycled paper and natural elements by the city's first lady, Rebecca Jensen. The ornament sells for $15 and all the proceeds go to Grand Prairie Charities. They're available at City Hall, the Tourist Center, the Main Library, Warmack Library, and the Summit. Seven swans are swimming, six geese are Five gold <laughs> Thanksgiving weekend marked the return of Prairie Lights at Lynn Creek Park on Joe Pool Lake. The city's award-winning Holiday Light Spectacular is all new this year and features a two-mile drive through the park's trails lined by more than four million lights. And as always, patrons have the chance to get out and venture around the Holiday Village, which features an all-new holiday-themed laser light show. Young and old alike can also stroll through the dozens of lighted displays in the walk-through Forest of Lights. There are also carnival rides, concessions, gifts, and the chance to meet Santa and get a picture with him. And this year, for the first time, there's also a VIP service that offers the ultimate Prairie Lights experience. Our customers can register online. They have to register three days in advance. They go to Lloyd Park, and a Grand Prairie Grand Connection bus will pick them up. So you get an actual guided tour through Prairie Lights. It also includes a fast pass at the carnival, so that you don't have to stand in that line as well. You have a $5 souvenir coming from the Holiday Magic gift shop. You have a $5 credit over at J. Bob's Concessions and just VIP service, premium seating everywhere we can go. And then we'll get you back safe and sound to Lloyd Park so that you can enjoy Prairie Lights without having to sit in those traffic lines. Prairie Lights is open nightly at 6 p.m. through January 4th. The cost is $20 per car on weeknights and $30 per car on the weekends. There are also special group rates for limousines and buses, as well as the new VIP service. For more information, log on to prairielights.org or call 972-237-8100. That's it for this edition of Grand Prairie Update. Hope you'll join us next time.